I'm Kate and welcome to Oomsy Chic. So we're going to try and make it through the 10 food rules and I can promise that it'll probably be a little crazy. So here we go. First food rule of the book French Kids Eat Everything by Karen LeBellon is parents are in charge of their children's food education. And I'm pretty sure that that's exactly what I've been trying to tell you. You are in charge of the food education. You form their foundation. So try to do it well. Okay. I can tell you that the saying do as I say and not as I do is never going to work when it comes to teaching your kids how to eat. One very embarrassing example is that we have a snack called party mix that we make every winter. It's huge, it's salty, it's buttery, there's two sticks of butter in each batch, and it's delicious. So Nora loves it and she particularly loves kicks in it which are my favorite as well. I'm not good at sharing. But we were sharing a small bowl of it and after it was done I went to sit down on the bedside table because we were eating in bed which is another big no-no in our house. And Nora grabbed it because her new favorite thing is to pretend to drink from everything. So there she went and I could just see it. Crumbs were going to go everywhere. So I just swooped my little finger in, swooped them up and stuck them in my mouth. No big deal, right? I saved the bed from crumbs. Only it was a big deal because in less than a minute, I witnessed my one-year-old daughter swoop her finger around and pretend to lick something off her finger. I was horrified. I had just created a bad habit and I gave myself a very firm lecture on why that was never going to happen again. I'm sure it will. And then there's another example. Today we were at a museum. We went there for caroling and processed hot cocoa and cookies. And there was a woman at a cafe later when we were getting coffee with two small children and her little girl. And I will say I didn't hear this because I probably would have bugged my eyes out and had a hard time not staring. But my husband and I discussing food over dinner, like we often do, tells me the story. While I was looking through the food case for something for Nora because she hadn't really eaten lunch before, I picked up a bowl of lentil soup made by this local cafe here in Charm City called the Desert Cafe. They make amazing hummus. And this lady was next to me and I hear her talking to her kids about food and something about, oh, we can't get the fruit crop because I could cut up and make a fruit salad at home. But I didn't really hear the rest of it, which apparently went something like this. Oh, mama, I want one of those sandwiches. Oh no, honey, you wouldn't like any of those. That is possibly one of the worst things you can tell your children and one of the most horrible ways to educate them about food. Tell them they will like something because I guarantee if you tell them they won't, they won't. You create the situation for your children. If you tell them it's going to be delicious, they're going to believe you, especially if you make an effort to make it delicious. And it's all about how you respond to food. Kids aren't always going to like things the first time, but the best words, and this book highlights this time and time again, is, oh, that's okay. You just haven't tried it enough times yet. You just don't like it yet. So keep that in mind. And the second food rule is don't emotionally eat. Food is not a reward, a bribe, or a punishment. How many times do we hear on TV shows or in pop culture, well, you don't get dessert if you don't finish your meal. Dessert is not a reward, people. It's a part of a meal. And if you act like it is, if you say, this is your main meal, you get dessert afterwards because it's part of the meal. If you don't finish your main meal, then there's no second or third part. That's how they're going to remember it. It's not going to be shovel it all in your mouth real quick because you want to get to dessert. It's just a normal part of a meal. And it doesn't have to be something sweet. It can be cheese or fruit. I have a cheese hoarder. Her name is Nora. And she likes to steal it when from the sample tables at grocery stores. So it doesn't have to be cake. And... Emotional eating is a really big thing. Obviously for me, with an eating disorder, it was linked really tight closely. And it's something that I saw emulated in a lot of aspects of my life growing up. It's not a reward. And it's not a punishment. And I saw it as a reward too often. I loved exercise. I loved to run. I talked about I'm going to start running again. And Garrett and I used to go on runs. We used to go to the gym at 11 o'clock at night. And then we would come home and eat pizza. For real. Pizza and ice cream. And 
that was probably one of the worst cycles to get into because I just worked my rear off running only to come home and eat like 500 calories worth of pizza in 10 minutes because we also weren't usually sitting down. And last, food is not a bribe. And that is something I've tried to really stick with with Nora. I am not that mom who's going to give my kids something to shut her up. I avoid it at all cost. I will try to distract. I will ignore often. Um, she starts throwing a temper tantrum. I will walk out of the room, but I will not offer her a bribe of food. I just think that's one of the most horrible habits to get into with your children. And it usually happens really innocently. You're in a car, and I know we take really long car drives sometimes, and Nora does not like her car seat. So those two things usually make me want to hand her some food. And I have admitted I've done it occasionally when I know that it's, oh, it's about lunchtime and we haven't eaten yet. And that's my poor choices. And I, I tend to choose wrong when I do that. But it's not a bribe. Giving her some food over the back seat is not going to work out well in the long run for her. So remember, you're in charge of their education. You are, not the school. And food isn't a reward, it's not a bribe, and it certainly shouldn't be a punishment. Don't tell them broccoli's disgusting and make it sound like it's going to be. Like, if you don't eat this, you're going to get broccoli. It's bad. Thanks.